With that being said, though, Bone, you come of age in Atlanta mm-hmm. and you start to see all of these folks that you grew up with turning into rap stars and pop stars. Mm-hmm. What was going through your mind at that time? And then how were you trying to figure out if right. you wanted to get into the game or not? Was it something that you knew right there? Oh, so-and-so that made it. I know damn well right. I can get in there. Right. Right. Or was it one of them things like, I don't even know if I want to do this, but I'm going to slide and peek around. You know, the thing about it is, B.I., um, I was there with everybody coming up. So I don't know what it was like to watch people from my generation mm. come up without me. Yeah. Right? So we're talking, you're talking Outkast, Goody Mob. That's the second wave of hip- Atlanta hip hop, right? That's right. Because the first wave is Shy D, Mojo, Raheem Kilo. the Dream, Kilo, yeah. uh, A Town Players. Yeah, yeah. Things of that nature, right? Artists of that nature. That's the first wave of Atlanta, mm-hmm. right? And I didn't know them. I was fans of theirs, yeah. right? So the second wave was my peers, yeah, right? Exactly. Goody, Outkast, Jagged, mm-hmm. uh, Young Bloods, myself, you know, and the list, Yin Yang, yeah. Eastside Boys, Lil John. We all came up together, so I don't see it as something that I was kind of like, Envious of or mm-hmm. in that nature because we was in a fight together. Yeah. And that's where that's probably the reason why people love us so much mm-hmm. still to this day. Because even though we might have our own personal gripes or whatever, we mm-hmm. would just keep it amongst ourselves mm-hmm. and nobody would know about it. And still to this day, a lot of stuff that went between all of us, nobody knows because at the end of the day, we all friends and it's all bullshit at the end of the day. <laughs> let's just get this money. You know what I mean? Let's get this money. Let, let, let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. And um, let's just be prosperous. And to this day, if I see Lil John, like I'm just out in Vegas with John. Mm-hmm. If I see John, it's always love. If yeah. I see um, Young Bloods, it's always love. If I see anybody from my era, mm-hmm. it's always love. Because we came up in this fight together. And there was a lot of pain and a lot of hurt and eating bologna sandwiches yeah. and drinking Billy D, which is Coke 45, and, <laughs> and, 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 and really learning how to invest more in the craft. We weren't even thinking about money then, though. It was just really mm. about the music. Yeah. Because there wasn't no money. We weren't making no money. We didn't know. We Understand there was no music business like that in Atlanta. Mm. We kind of cur- cur- uh, curated yeah. that thought mm. and made it a plausible, plausible reality where we can all just come together and work together, especially with the Black Market House. Mm-hmm. You're talking about um, Cersei, Vince, Lil John, you know what I mean? And and the LGs, shout out to Cotton and Beza. Mm-hmm. Everybody was over there. Toomp, yeah. uh, Jagged, Goody, everybody came by. Too Short, yeah. everybody came by the Black Market House, shot videos there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, couldn't be a better player than me. Was mm. shot at the Black Market House. Come on now. When the Young Bloods weren't even out yet, they was on the porch jumping up and down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's Atlanta history. Yeah. Second wave. Yeah. Right. That's the key. The second wave of Atlanta was the staple that our children are now living off of. Yeah. yeah. The wealth that we built, mm-hmm. and then we didn't even know it. See that? That's. I think that's what's wrong. The structure of what we did we didn't share with the children. Mm. We should have shared how we did it and how we stayed together as a family, even though we weren't beef with each other sometimes. Yeah. But it wasn't real. It ain't real. You know, It is what it is. That was just some petty ego, yeah, anger, man, garbage. Head in there, but it ain't yeah. nobody done died. No, man, no, 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 ain't nobody dying. When you see the dungeon start to do their thing, right. though, Bone, yeah. what was going through your mind at that time when you said, okay, I see Cass and Good and mm-hmm. Organized Noise doing yeah. their thing, yeah. and you start to see the hip-hop come to Atlanta right. on a hip-hop form yeah. of things. Yeah, jamming. Yeah. Goody and, and Outkast were, were jamming. Mm-hmm. That's the key. Um, It's a lot of things that when it comes down to watching your peers and your friends – do jamming ass music. Come on now. That's that's inspirational. Mm-hmm. It's a friendly competition between camps. Mm-hmm. You're talking about rowdy, so so deaf, uh, organized noise, black market. Uh, and we were kind of pushing each other back then, mm-hmm. pushing each other for greatness, just kept pushing each other, pushing each other. And it was an underlying understanding that. I'm coming hard. You better come hard, too. Exactly. You better come with your own sound, too. Come if you on, notice, man. all those camps have different sounds. Facts. So 
we all came with our own sound because I don't want to sound like my brother. Mm -hmm. I want my brother to see what I have to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. So that's, to me, just watching each camp come with their own sound mm -hmm. is what laid, once again, back to that, laid the foundation of what Atlanta is today. And just looking at the overall view of organized and goody and, well, organized is goody, organized yeah. with goody and outcasts and and backbone and yeah. everybody came after that witch doctor. Yeah. These are um, you know, these are staples in the city. Facts. That need to be respected and revered by our younger artists that come in. But also we need to understand that, and I think Tip said it best. He said that every generation wants its own. And mm. this generation deserves their own play. Yeah. But I think that they should understand that what they're doing to themselves as far as, you know, the detriment of the destruction and when the, the killing and the, and, and the shooting at each other is something that they should look at as a space of messing up their money. Yeah, exactly. Because that's all they, you know, they, they own the money thing, right? Come on now. 